guys, Sagittarius. Hi, welcome home, welcome back. It feels really good to have you here with me now. I hope that you're warm, cozy, and feeling good, especially during our time here together. So let's go ahead and talk about what it is that your guides and what spirit messages have for you right now. Typically they can be more intense um, messages sometimes because we're talking about spiritual transformation and you know it goes a little heavier than just uh light-hearted things i guess but if anything light comes through i'll i'll definitely share that with you um this is for again sagittarius sun moon and rising you guys are already have a lot going on i'm pulling way more cards than i was expecting but it's totally fine uh, and then also there's Sagittarius cross watchers that like to come through as well. So I can already tell and feel and sense, I'm just gonna dive right in, that Sagittarius is a massive message for you here now. Uh, give me a minute because I have a clear picture on what I'm seeing and feeling. Yep. All right, I wanna put this aside. So, Sagittarius, um, number one, how are you? Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna read them and check in, very curious. Sagittarius, I pulled more cards for you, um, but the word that is really coming through for you right now is concentration. Those two cards that I just showed up or just showed you is the nine of, or are the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. And now I'm going to show you the Five of Cups and the Devil card. And this third pile that I want to show you for now is the Five of Wands. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my puppy. She's chewing on her rabbit. Um, her bunny, her bunny, her bunny teddy bear thing. What are you concentrating on? Um, the vision that it is that I'm getting is someone who is doing yoga or Pilates and they have a goal. They set an intention. They're on their yoga mat. They showed up. And there's this moment where you are in a difficult pose and what helps you to fulfill that pose for the time being is what you lock your eyes on, what you set, set your gaze upon, okay? And when you set your gaze and when you're focused on that central point, it helps to strengthen the body and focus the body so that you can complete that task that you're setting your body, you know, towards. Same thing is true for you, Sagittarius. So what are you focusing on? I'm being shown right now that your focus is starting to shift. Clearly, Sagittarius, there has been something that you have been called to observe, called to examine, something that has been incomplete, that has kind of wrapped you in its claws, you know, that you have or are walking out of. There is a level of disappointment um, I'm hearing disengagement, so it feels like something that could, it's like you're, you're wanting, I mean, this is all of us, but you're wanting more for yourself. You're wanting more happiness for yourself. You know, and you can sense that there's more out there. So you have to kind of walk away from something that's disappointing and unfulfilling and then move into this next realm. You can sense it. You can feel it. You're on the path. Um, at the same time, Spirit is saying, what are you focusing on? Because if you focus your eyesight, hi, baby, good morning. She just woke up from her nap, you guys. Come, come look at her. Let's see if she'll say hi. Good morning. Come here. You want to come up? Good morning, Papa. Hi. She's getting so big. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Speaking of focus, right? Like, what are you focusing on right now? My puppy is just coming in and just crashing. Good morning. She's getting so big. Hi. Yeah, so Spirit is wanting you to draw your attention. All right, we got to pick her up because she's just a cute. Come here. 
This is Nova, my, 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 my Nova girl. So she's going to stay with us while we do this reading. And hopefully you guys are your dog people. But, or cat people, or just animal people. But what are you guys focusing on? Um, this is going to help stabilize your journey. It's going to help stabilize where you're going. With the devil card that has shown up here, my loves, this feels like... Normally, sometimes the devil card feels really bad, or it can be really bad. It can be toxic, but I see this almost as an obsessive concentration on what you love, where you want to go, and where you're moving forward towards. And spirit is like, lock in on that in a way that seems almost, I don't want to say feverish, but it's, it's, um, like it's fixated, it's committed. Commit yourself to your happy. Commit yourself to your joy. Commit yourself to um, being competitive once again, to putting yourself out there, to walking into a more vibrant or allowing yourself to walk into a more vibrant life, Sagittarius. You are so notoriously known for being vibrant, for being active, for being hands-on, for being explorative, for being courageous, for being filled with life and joy and, you know, really challenging the rest of us to kind of, you know, have fun as well. And you also have King of Wands here. So it's that fire energy that we're talking about, literally the embodiment of that. So Spirit is saying like, that's what we see and that's what we want for you. This feels like sports. It feels like being athletic. It feels like traveling. It feels like um, networking and social engagements, things that feel fun and, and, you know, fill you up and fill your cup up. So for October Sagittarius, that's really what it is I'm seeing for you. And that's what I'm seeing you guys focusing your energy, energy on right now. Okay. So let's see what cards are going to jump out for you. Oh, we have courage. That's the first card to jump out. Let's see if you can see that. Courage with the Aspen Spirit. And the number three. And what else do we have? Chaos. So that's the other thing too. It's like when things get chaotic in our life or when things start getting elect like electrified in our life or around us, Spirit says throughout the chaos, throughout the, the dysfunction, when you focus your attention, when you focus your eyesight, when you focus on your intention, even if everything is crazy around you, you yourself will be stabilized. That is something that people sense. That's something that the universe senses and your body can sense it and will get this strength, this innate and strength within you that gets activated, that gets pulled up. Right. All right, my loves. So I hope that the reading was pretty short and sweet and to the point, but Sagittarius, I hope it resonated. I hope it made sense. Um, please let me know down in the comments, of course. If you want to work with me, feel free, absolutely. You can meet me at the apothecary, my shop, bahadilife.com. There you will find tons of options of fixed candles, tons of herbs. In fact, there's gonna be a massive restock and replenishment of old herbs, new herbs. Um, and very, very rare herbs. I forgot to mention that this is the other sign, so maybe you guys need to hear it first and foremost. There's also bundles, cleansing bundles, bath soaks, you name it, intention oils. The list goes on and on. Um, so feel free to meet me there. Uh, yeah. Until then, I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And then I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. 
You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.